Hey everyone, it's Misty from Missouri Star Quilt Company, and today we're stitching for a great cause. I am so excited about this week's project. We're going to be making these great little crossbody bags that are designed by So Powerful as part of their organization. Um, they believe if you sew a purse, you can change a life. And so we will be making these purses to donate to the So Powerful organization so that they can serve young girls in Zambia. So first up, you want to download this free pattern. They actually have two patterns available, a beginner and an intermediate. I'm gonna walk you through that beginner pattern today, but you can choose. And there's just a couple things you wanna keep in mind. The pattern is incredibly detailed. It has uh, photo steps that walk you all the way through it. And then it has a summarized version of those instructions as well. So you can kind of choose which one fits your style. There is even specific pattern pieces that you can all print out right on your home computer and have everything you need to make this. One of the things I love the most about the pattern though is there are different cutting layouts depending on what type of fabric you're using. For the outside body of the bag, they do recommend using a little bit heavier weight um, fabric. So I'm actually making this out of this beautiful canvas today. You can see this pretty floral. We actually have two different colorways available. And then I just picked a pretty pink quilting cotton for the inside. If you wanted to use quilting cotton for the whole thing, you would just need to interface um, the outside body of the bag. So it has a little bit more stability. You can also make the strap either out of fabric itself, or we have this great webbing that's already designed with this in mind. And so I used some black webbing on this sample here and I've got this great kind of natural color that we'll use. And that just saves a few steps and makes it easier to make these bags quickly. So now let's go ahead and get started. So to begin with, I have cut out all of my pattern pieces. And so you can see, I have them kind of organized across here. Pattern piece B is actually what you would need if you were making the strap out of your fabric. So I'm not gonna use that today, but I have everything else ready to go. So to begin with, this is pattern piece A and that's the flap panel. So that's this front flap that you see on the bag and you need to cut one of your fabric and one of your lining. So I've gone ahead and done that. And I have those here. And then the first step is to stitch all the way around, leaving the top open. And then we're gonna trim these little curves. So I've clipped the curves. You can see I've gone ahead and done that stitching for us because I'm just trying to save us some time. And now we can turn this right sides out. And now um, if you have like a chopstick, or a fingernail, <laughs> something to just press along that inside seam to make sure it turns and lays really nice. And then we're gonna take this over to the iron and give it a good press before we top stitch along the top of this. So I just like to take my time and really make sure that this is turned nicely, laying as smooth as possible. And because we clipped those curves, it really, isn't too difficult to get it to behave and do what we want. So I start with that bottom edge first, and then we'll roll one side. And I'm just kind of feeling it with my fingers. And then we'll do the same on the other side. There we go. And now that I've done that, we're going to top stitch with the nice finishing stitch all the way around those same three sides that we stitched on before, leaving the top open. You can see how that is still open. And so when I do top stitching, I like to just lengthen my stitch length a bit. I find it just looks a little bit more professional. And we're just gonna do a nice narrow stitch on these three sides. So this is just as narrow as you're comfortable with. Mine's about an eighth of an inch, I'd say, away from the edge. And I should point out, I'm using this great pink thread in here, so it kind of coordinates. And we'll 
will slow down as we approach that little bit of a curve. There we go. So the flap of our bag is ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and turn my stitch length back to my normal setting. And now I can set this aside. I like to leave it with the pattern piece so that as I'm reading through the pattern, it's easier for me to find all of the sizes that I'm looking for. So up next, we're going to work on the pockets. So I'm going to grab this small pocket here. And I've gone ahead and done a little bit of sewing already just to save us some time. Let me grab my scissors here. So you can see on this one, what I've done is I started on this bottom edge, back stitched, went all the way around, leaving about a four inch opening across the bottom here. And now I'm just gonna clip my corners just to get rid of some bulk. And now we're gonna do just like we did on the flap and turn this right sides out. Just gonna push this through. And this is going to make the inside pocket of our bag. You just have to take your time a little bit on this because we want these bags to be high quality and last the girls a long time. So there we go. That's looking really nice. Now I'm just going to take this over to the iron and do the same thing we did before, but I'm going to make sure my little edges are staying turned under because we will top stitch across there later. So that's where I had that opening, remember? So just make sure it's hiding behind the cute fabric. And then we will press this down. There we go. All right, so that one is ready. Let's sit that back there. So now these pieces here, I want to point out because this is actually pattern piece C and F. And so one of those sets of fabric and lining is for your slip pocket. And one is for the purse body bottom of the back. And so we have, you can see here, you would have two sets that look just like this, the main fabric and the lining. And to do the pocket, which is what we're working on now, you're going to place those right sides together. And just across the top, you're going to sew with a quarter inch seam. And then we're going to press that open and top stitch just like I've done here. And so I've gone ahead and done that. You can see I sewed it right sides together, opened it up, lengthened my stitch length and top stitch that. So that is ready to go. So now my pockets are ready. So let's go ahead and refer back to the pattern. I'm using the summary here just to breeze through it. And now that we have the pockets done, it says we can start working on the purse body parts. So it says with the right sides facing up, place the small slip pocket, that's what we made right here, on top of the purse body front lining. So the purse body front, is right here. So this is the piece that we haven't used yet. And when you cut these, I want you to notice it says to cut one out of the fabric and two out of the lining, and these are cut on a fold. And so I have all of those stacked together. And we're gonna take one of the lining, just like so. And we are going to Center and align the top of the small slip pocket one and three quarter inches from the top of the lining. So I'm going to use my ruler here and measure down one and three quarter inches. And then I'm just going to eyeball and make sure that's centered. Then we'll put a pin in here just to hold it in place. 
There we go. And now we will stitch along the two sides and the bottom. And so by doing that, it's gonna enclose that little opening that we had earlier. So let's go ahead and take this to the machine and do that. I do like to back stitch. We're just gonna sew down to this corner, keep my needle down and pivot. Now we're enclosing that opening that we had. Needle down and pivot. And back stitch there at the top. All right, so our pocket is attached to the inside lining. So you can see how that opens up just like that. Okay, and so now that we have that pocket on, the next step is to take our purse body front, which is the exact same size as that lining piece that we had before. And now we're going to baste on the large slip pocket that we made earlier. And so we're just going to line these up right sides together, I guess lining towards the body of the purse. I'm trying to figure out how to explain that. And so both of the right sides are facing up towards us. And we're just going to baste these so that the pocket stays in place. And so I'm just gonna do some really loose stitches as narrow as I can. And I'm actually gonna put a clip on either side to hold this pocket where I need it to go. And that should be enough for me to take this over here and add those basting stitches. So if you're not familiar with basting, those are just a narrow, um, kind of like way to pin it without having pins in your way. And so we're just going to lengthen our stitch length a bunch and I'm going to sew a super, super narrow stitch. And if you do it less than a quarter inch, then you don't have to worry about taking this out later because we'll catch this inside our final seam and it will not be in the way. So like I said, this is just to hold all of those layers together so we don't have to fight with them later. So I'm just gonna take some quick stitches here. Really narrow. Hopefully you guys can see how big those stitches are. And I'm well inside my quarter inch seam here. And then up this side. There we go. All right, and so we've done those big basting stitches. It's ready to go inside of our quarter inch seam so that we can enclose it later on and not have to worry about it. I am going to turn down my stitch length before I forget. So that's taken care of. And now we can set this aside for a minute and we're gonna take what is our pattern piece F on here. It says the purse body bottom of the back. Sometimes this pattern feels a little bit wordy, but as you work through it, it really starts to make sense. And so that's why I recommend keeping everything labeled. So I've got this piece here. And what we're going to do is take our flap that we made, just like before, and we wanna put those right sides together. So that floral fabric needs to go towards the floral fabric. We're gonna be looking at the lining, which is what I have here. And then our last piece that we need is this pattern piece G, which is the purse body top of the back. And so we're going to take this off and we're gonna put that so that the florals are right sides together. And I'm just gonna put a couple of pins in here to hold these layers together. Now I've just eyeballed this to make sure it's centered. You could absolutely measure on either side here to ensure that it's exactly lined up. Just put another pin so it stays where we need it. And then I just wanna double check my pattern and make sure this is right. Center and align, pin all three layers and stitch through all three layers. So yep, that's what we're gonna do. So now this is back to our regular quarter inch seam. Remember we've turned our stitch length back to normal from that basting stitch. And we're gonna stitch through all three layers with a quarter inch seam. There we 
go. Take my pins out of the way. Okay, and now it wants you to press your seam down towards the bottom large part of the bag. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm actually gonna start with this down and just kind of roll this back to begin with so that I'm working towards that bottom section and then I'll flip it over again. Make sure I don't have any pleats or tucks. And you can see all of the right side of the fabric is showing, which is what we're going for here. So this looks really, really nice. Now that we've pressed that down, we're going to go back and add our top stitch right along this seam. So we're gonna lengthen our stitch just a little bit. And I'm just going to sew just a hair down from that seam and top stitch, just about an eighth of an inch down. All the way across. There we go. Turn my stitch leak back to normal. All right, so now we have most of the hard work done and we can start assembling our purse body. So let's take all of the pieces that we made. Oh, you know what? We forgot one thing and that's to trim down the strap, which we wanna do. So I'm gonna open this up and the length we're looking for is 54 inches. So I'm gonna fold this in half and just set it on my mat and 54 and a half is 27. So let me just make sure I've got what I need here. That looks right. And now I'm just gonna cut off this extra fabric. So it's just a little bit that we're setting aside and now our strap is the right length. So let's go ahead and take all of our pieces and start assembling our bag. All right, so now the next step is to take our other inside lining piece, which I have here. Remember that matches up with the piece that we've sewn the small pocket to. And we're gonna put those uh, right sides together. So if you had a print, you would wanna pay attention. We are going to sew our quarter inch seam down both sides and across the bottom, leaving about a four inch opening. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this to the machine and do that now. Checking my stitch length, make sure I'm back to that normal length. I'm just gonna go ahead and sew off the end and pivot. So about to there and back stitch. This opening is how we're going to turn our purse later. So we do want it to be a comfortable size. We don't wanna to have to work too hard to get that purse through it later. So we will sew up this side. Whoops, I've got a thread caught. Let me get that out of the way. There we go. Making sure our sides are lined up. Sewing all the way up that side. There we go. Now we're gonna use the same idea, but we're going to use our purse body back with our purse body front. Remember the front is the one that we've basted that pocket to. We're gonna put those right sides together. And the only difference on this one is we're gonna go ahead and take that quarter inch seam on all three sides. We don't need to leave an opening. So let's go ahead and take this over there. You could pin if you need to. I like to make sure my flap is up out of the way. And I am going to back stitch just a little bit here at the front. And I am kind of watching to make sure that my basting stitches are inside that seam allowance, and they are. Okay, so that is ready to go. So now the next step is we're gonna add a little bit of a box corner on both of these pieces. And so the size, is actually a three quarter inch box. Let me grab a pin here so I can show you how I'm gonna mark that. I'm just gonna take my ruler and in the bottom corner of each of these, I am going to measure, let me make sure I've got it lined up right, three quarters of an inch in. 
on both sides. And this is from the outer seam. So this is just a small box. And so I'm just gonna draw that for you so you can see it. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And draw that just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna use my scissors and snip this. You could cut this out before you sew it all together, but I like to wait till this point because I like being able to just sew off the end and come back and take care of this later. So now we've trimmed that one and we're gonna do the same thing on the body of the bag here. So with our three quarter inch lined up, we can draw that corner there. And now I'll also cut through these ones. We're cutting through a few more layers here. So just take your time. You don't wanna to cut too far. There's that one. We'll do the same on this side. Okay, and so now that I have that trimmed, I'm gonna put my hand in here and I'm gonna make sure that the pocket is staying with this piece here. And I'm just gonna pinch this so that I can create this boxed corner. And it just takes a little bit of maneuvering because I wanna line up that center seam so that now all we have to do is take a straight stitch across here. So let's take this to the machine and sew straight across on both sides. And I actually like to back stitch quite a bit because we want this to have quite a bit of stability. So I'm gonna go across and back and across just like that. And let me show you again on this other side. So we've opened this up. I'm putting my hand in here to make sure the pocket is going the way that I want it to go. And then I'm pinching this so my center seams are lined up and then pushing them in opposite directions. And we're gonna stitch straight across there. So I'm gonna put that under the machine, straight across back stitch all the way just like so and now we've got these great little boxed corners at the bottom of the outside of our bag I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that same process with the lining it's a little easier we've got less bulk on this one so we're just gonna pinch this just like before make our seams go in opposite directions so that center seam is lined up and so straight across one and the other. There we go. All done. We still have our opening. You want to remember that. Okay, so now we can turn the body of our bag right sides out. And this is where we can check to make sure our box worked out the way that we want. And you'll know because the side seam of the bag goes straight through that box corner across the bottom and all the way back up the other side, which this does, it looks beautiful. I'm really happy with how that turned out. And so now the next step is to grab our strap. Remember for um, this purse, I'm using this pre-finished webbing that we carry here at Missouri Star, um, but it also gives you instructions on how to make it out of fabric if you choose. So I am just going to line this up right along that center seam here. Let me flip this over, see if this makes it a little bit easier. And I'm gonna measure up or eyeball, let's see, about an inch and a half. I just use the little ruler on my tabletop here. And I'm gonna put a pin in here. So let's put a pin through the webbing on that side. And now we wanna make sure this isn't twisting. This is kind of an important step. And then we're gonna do the same thing and we're gonna have this side overhang an inch and a half as well. I'll put another pin in there. And so now I can double check, see that there's no twists in my strap. And we are going to put our lining wrong sides together. I haven't turned this one right sides out. And we're going to stuff our bag inside of the lining. 
So in this case, the strap needs to be inside with it as well. And the flap has to fold down inside. We need all of this inside of our lining. So it just takes a little bit of maneuvering. So just take your time. Now I'm gonna come back and I'm going to try and eyeball these side seams. So I'm gonna carefully hold my strap where it was. So I've taken that pin out and I'm just going to use my lining now and line that up at the end. I don't know if you guys can see here, it's hard to tell since the strap is sticking up, but I'm still trying to line up the side seam of my lining with the side seam of the bag. And so I've just arranged that and I'm gonna put the pin back in through all three layers. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Pull that pin out, line up the side seams, kind of fold it back and check, making sure that the strap is staying in the middle and then putting our pin back in place. So now, if you need to add a few more pins, you can but we are going to go ahead and take a quarter inch seam all the way around the top edge of this bag. And we are intentionally leaving this extra bit of strap because we're gonna add some reinforcement stitches so we don't have to worry about that handle coming out. So I'm gonna start on the side here and I am going to be on just this side of the strap so my first stitches do not have to go through quite so many layers. There we go, happy with that. And so you just have to watch as you go to make sure the bulk of the, the bag is staying away from the needle because you don't want to sew through more than you want to. So let's just take a few stitches here and I am gonna back stitch for those first couple. And we are just going to sew all the way around. So I'm gonna zip through this and I will meet you back here when that is done. All right, we are coming around the end now, just finishing up through these layers. I'm gonna meet back right where I started, back stitch again, and trim my threads. I'm gonna make sure I don't have any pins in my way now that I'm ready to turn it. And so remember, we have that opening at the bottom. So we're just gonna gently pull our bag through. And remember, we backstitched on that lining, so that makes it easier to put a little bit of tension on that seam. We're just gonna work this through gently. Oh my goodness, look how close we are. So now this is the lining. This is gonna tuck down inside the bag, just like this. And we want the top edge to lay nice and flat. So I'm just testing it here to make sure that I'm happy with how this looks. And I think this is gonna be great. So before I get too far, I am gonna pull this back out and we can just pinch this opening and we're just gonna do some quick top stitching to now enclose the opening that we left in the lining because we know that that part is done. So I'm just gonna straight stitch across here. It's at the bottom of the bag, nobody's ever gonna see it. Oops, I wanna make sure that's turned under all the way though. There we go. There we go. Now we can really tuck that down inside because it is finished. And I'm just gonna take this over to my iron and I'm gonna gently press around this top edge because I want this to be really smooth. Let me move this out of the way so you guys can see here as I go. I just want the lining to stay on the inside and have our beautiful canvas be the one that shows on the outside. So I'm just kind of rolling that with my finger to make sure, and then I'll come back and press. And we'll do the same thing on the front. Okay, so you can see how nicely that is laying now. I'm gonna go ahead and do my top stitching all the way around this top edge. 
turn this back up to a longer stitch length and then we are going to start all the way around and so for this again you want to make sure that the flap is out of your way and I am just going to start right here on the back and we'll zoom all the way around there we go we are so close to being done. The final step is we can add a little box stitching here to reinforce those layers of the strap that are inside. And so to do that, I'm gonna take this back over here. I'm gonna use my ruler again and open up this side seam. And so this is where we're gonna add just a little bit of box stitching. So I'm gonna add a one inch square, maybe a three quarter inch square. Well, let's make it one inch. It should finish just right above this pocket, which it will. And so I'm gonna go ahead and use a pin so that you guys can see. Um, if you were you know, making this yourselves, you might want to make sure you're using something that will wash away so that you don't see the final stitching. I want you guys to see the little bit of the square here. And so I am going to sew right on these lines that I've marked. You can see the square that goes all the way around. I'm going to sew all the way around that and then corner to corner just to give this some strength. You would usually mark both sides, but I'm just going to show you on one. And the reason we're doing this is it just gives a lot of strength to the handle so that the girls can carry everything that they need and not have to worry about that handle coming loose. So again, I'm keeping my needle down as I pivot there in the corner. And again, I cross this top here. And I will back stitch. I'm going to end right in that corner because now I can just rotate and come with my first slide of stitches to that opposite corner. Hopefully you guys can see that um, under the machine, stitching straight across to this opposite corner now. Back stitch and cut my threads and then I'm just going to stitch one line in the opposite direction. There we go. Can you guys see that there? I've done that box with the X in the middle to strengthen the handle. And you'll repeat that on the other side, but essentially our bag is done. Our little flap folds across just like that. And now it is ready for you to send off to So Powerful. One thing I do want to mention that they really encourage you to do is they have these little note cards that you can print off or you could enclose a card of your very own and just share a message for the girl who will be receiving this. Send her a little bit of love, a special thought, a favorite quote, maybe a scripture, whatever it is that you feel called to send her and include that with the bag when you send it off to So Powerful. They do an unboxing of all of the bags that they receive at the end of every month on their Facebook page. And we are super excited here at Missouri Star to partner with them and challenge all of you to make these bags for such a wonderful cause and to send it to them. We would love for them to receive 500 of these purses in the month of June. So if you could do that, I would just love it so much. And I, I would love if we could majorly exceed that number. I think we can do it, but let's um, just send a lot of love and good out into the world by making these bags and be sure to share it with us by using the hashtag so powerful MSQC so we can see what you have been working on. Thank you guys so much for making these amazing bags, for working on a wonderful cause, and I hope you guys enjoy it and we'll just make thousands of them. I will see you next time. Have a great week. Hey everyone, it's Misty. Thanks for watching at home. 
If you aren't already a part of our Missouri Star family, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you want a notification every time we release a new video. I'll see you next Monday on the newest episode of At Home.